Hi there, hello to everyone. This is Cooking from Canet. Here we are, another day, another recipe. And I fancied some salmon today, and I thought, how am I going to make it? So I googled and I found this recipe in a Spanish magazine, which is, you know, very easy, very, very, very easy. And probably you've had it before. It's just we're going to pan fry the salmon and we're going to have it with caramelized onion and to make that we're going to do is fry the onion uh, with some garlic and add some soy sauce and Dijon mustard and a bit of honey and we're going to create like a sauce that's going to go all over it and then we're going to have all this with a bit of boiled rice as simple as that so i hope you uh, like this light lunch option or light dinner option and yeah let's have a look at the ingredients Okay, so to make this very simple for four people, you're going to need four salmon fillets. I've got only three here because we are three today. Um, rice, uh, about 200 grams of rice. Dijon mustard over here. Soy sauce, uh, 70 milliliters. You see, I've got it in this glass here. Bit of honey and three onions because they are, they are not very big, this one. So I have three onions here, three cloves of garlic, and some chives. This is optional. This is uh, for the end of it. So when we have everything dished up and we have the rice, we can add a bit of chives. We, we're going to, I'm going to chop some chives that I had in the fridge, and I'm going to scatter over the rice to give it a bit more flavor. That's all, but that's optional, okay? Right, let's make it. Okay, so this is all very straightforward. It's about making everything a bit at the same time. So I've got the rice over there boiling already. So you follow the instructions in the package you have there. Here I have the onions. And I'm going to lower the heat to medium because it was hot, uh, too hot. Now it's on medium heat. Uh, as you can see, I've sliced, I've cut the onions into strips and I have sliced the garlic cloves, I've got them here and we're going to add them as well to the pan and very simple, the only thing we have to do is fry this for about, I would say 10 minutes until the onion is tender and be golden and then we are going to add the you know the mustard and the honey and the soy sauce and that'll be it really okay so this has been cooking for about 10 minutes now um, you can see they are tender the onions are tender and a bit golden so now it's just uh, time to add uh, the soy sauce The mustard, remember the John mustard? There we go, tablespoon and tablespoon of honey. Over here, yummy, super. And now, slowly, slowly, still on medium heat. We are going to give it a stir and cook it for five more minutes. And that'll be the sauce done. Okay, so now the onions are cooking over there with the soy sauce and the mustard and the honey. And I've got here the salmon fillets to season them. This is what we have to do. A bit of salt and a bit of pepper. And in this pan, I've started heating up some oil. So very simple, we're just going to pan fry them. Four minutes on each side. And by that time, the onions will be ready. And then add the rice and then we can leave it up. Super. Right, let's make this then. Go and that. So 
So you see, now this the soy sauce has reduced considerably and now this is getting the texture that we are looking for. So not too runny and all like a kind of a sauce. We can leave it for a few more minutes. Just keep stirring and we are nearly there. Okay, so the onions are ready on the stove, let me show you. I've reserved it over there. Because uh, now I'm waiting for the salmon to finish. A couple of more minutes. And what I'm going to do in the meantime is start chopping the chives. And then everything will be ready. And we can dish it up. Okay, so here we are. Time to dish up. Now I've got the salmon fillet there, let's put some of the sauce all over it and the onions, very very simple, just like that. Now a bit of rice on the side, there you go. bit more and as I say if you have a bit of uh, if you have some chives you can do that it will give it a bit of flavor but if not that is optional and yeah that's it already let me show you closer And that's it, as simple as that. So I hope you like the idea and if you make it at home, you enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next recipe.